I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Tip me over and pour me out. Hello friends, this is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. In today's video, I am going to open this package that was sent to me by Doug Sample. He has a YouTube channel called Vintage Boutique Cali, and he also has an Etsy shop, Vintage Boutique Cali. If you haven't checked his channel out, you should definitely go over there and tell him that I sent you. He has a lot of knowledge about jewelry, and he just has great videos, and he showcases the jewelry that he has, and he does some selling there as well. So he sent me this nice thank you card uh, for my having my channel, and I can't wait to see what jewelry he has sent to me. Here is the outside of the package. I'm trying not to make too much noise here. And look at that. It's just full of jewelry pieces. I can't wait to open this up, which I'm going to do right now. Oh, wow. Okay. I see a sequin and beaded little coin purse here. I'm going to put this jewelry over here. Put my scissors away. Oh, yes. And let's take a look. Wow. Wow. How pretty is this? Look at this gorgeous beaded coin purse. And oh, my goodness. Look, there are goodies inside, too. Oh, my gosh. Doug. Doug, you're blowing me away already. Okay, these are sterling silver earrings. I will get my um, magnet set up here too, but these are sterling silver. I think they're called, gosh, shrimp. Is it shrimp something? Shrimp earrings. Oh, how wonderful. And another gorgeous pair of earrings. These are posts. Goodness gracious, Doug. Oh, wow. Look at these. These are like concho style earrings. These are lovely too. Well, I'm going to get the magnet and we will take a look at the sterling silver component here. Doug is very knowledgeable about jewelry. There's no doubt in my mind that these are sterling silver and wow. That's just the first item I pulled out. Let's keep going. Loving this coin purse. Love all the earrings. Next is this box he included. This looks like it's from Pier 1. And it says magnifier loop. And there's the little penguin. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute this little guy is. This is a glass blown. It looks like little magnifying uh, loop. Look at that. Look at my fingernails. <laughs> this is so adorable. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Doug. I think I'm going to be ooing and eyeing throughout this whole, <laughs> whole YouTube video. The next item I'm pulling out is a pair of earrings backed up. These are a pair of hoop earrings. They are carved and they are clip-ons. Let's take a closer look at these. So I'm not sure. I think it's possible that these are Lucite. Correct me if I'm wrong, Doug, if you are watching. Feel free to correct me or clear things up if I'm getting it wrong. These are unmarked. I don't see a name, but these are no doubt vintage and they are beautiful. Okay, out comes the next piece and looks like this is a necklace. This is very pretty. This is a three-layered necklace made with hematite and sodalite, blue sodalite beads, and some gold tone spacer beads. The clasp on this necklace is a barrel clasp. I like the color of the sodalite beads combined with the hematite. Very pretty. Look at this colorful necklace. All packaged up. That's the other thing I wanted to mention. Let me pull this out because I'm making a lot of noise. One of the things I wanted to say about Doug, too, is that he pays close attention to detail. He's very detail-oriented, very organized. You'll see that when you check out his, his YouTube channel. This is super cool. Look at these. These are all wooden beads. These are flowers, and I love these beads. They're so much fun. This is a brand new piece, still with the tags. That has a $24 sale price on it, and it looks like it was originally $48. And I'm afraid to pull this off 
to see if there's a brand under there because I do not want to rip off any oop it's coming it's coming uh oop. so what that says is Natasha so I can maybe look up that UPC code and Natasha to discover more about this necklace I just love it this is so fun and whimsical and I'm definitely going to be selling this thank you Doug Look at these lovelies. These are all vintage clip-on earrings, all very blingy in the rhinestone, clear rhinestones. So beautiful. First you have these. These are like the diamond shaped and they have baguettes as well as round crystals. And look at the back of these. These look like they have never been worn. There's no name on them, but they are in phenomenal shape. Next is this pair of rhinestone earrings, also clip-ons, also in wonderful shape. And these remind me of almost like a waterfall. These are so gorgeous. Aren't they pretty? This curved pair is also a pair of clip-ons. They're actually screw backs. Wonderful shape again. And these have baguettes as well as round rhinestones and also the pear shape or teardrop rhinestones. These are lovely as well. They're all so pretty. Next, I'm pulling out this brooch, and look at this. He has his own little jewelry cards printed out. I love this. See what I mean about attention to detail? Check this out. Vintage Boutique Cali, San Diego, California. If you like it, wear it. I love it. Just love it. On the back, it says... It's okay to be a little obsessed with vintage jewelry. It's one way of keeping memories alive. Isn't that cool? Kissy. I wonder if that refers to the pin. Let's take a look. It's a really beautiful pin. Brooch, I should say, right? Pin slash brooch. It is gold tone and it has these very pretty painted brown and gold petals and leaves. Gorgeous brown an AB crystal in the center and it has a rollover clasp and indeed this one is signed Kissy and I have never heard of Kissy. I am going to have to do more research. It's a lovely brooch. It really is. Look at this beautiful necklace. This is a three strand pearl necklace with yellow and ivory colors. There are also some yellow, let's get this focused a little bit better, some yellow crystals as well. This is a great piece for spring. I'm guessing this is a vintage piece that has that spring clasp on it. And look at these colors together. Aren't they pretty? Here are a couple more pair of clip earrings. Another pair of beautiful rhinestone dangle earrings. And these are screw backs. Really nice. These are awesome. These are like 80s, 90s button style earrings. They are in pristine condition. I don't know if they have a brand. Let's take a look. Here's what the back of the earring looks like. I don't see a brand on these. These are fabulous though. Here's another pearl piece. It's kind of a brownish coppery color. Look at this pearls. And these probably are faux pearls and they are knotted. You can see that. This is a super long necklace, so you could double or triple this. This has one of those um, hook closures, hidden hook closures, right there. And let's take a closer look at the beads on this one. How pretty. Next is this pair of earrings. Oh, how fun. They are two-tone, gold and silver tone. And look at the finish. They have these really thin wire wraps on them. I love that detail. These are pierced earrings, and let's see, the back doesn't seem to have a maker's mark. These are just very unique, it very nautical. I'm loving these. Let's see what happens with the magnet. Okay, they are not uh, precious metal, but they sure are adorable. Look how pretty these earrings are. These are floral earrings in an enamel. Now we have like a dusty rose purpley color one here and an ivory enamel here. And this one has beautiful crystals in black and a clear crystal in the center. They're both gold tone. 
I took a peek already, so I don't have to take them off the card again, but they have uh, they are not marked. These are gorgeous. They have a post closure, each one does. So those two are perfect for the spring season. Love these. Here's a beautiful ring. This is a faux turquoise ring, a pear-shaped or a teardrop-shaped cabochon, and I love the setting. It's silver tone. Here's what the band looks like. And my guess is it is not sterling silver. It's so pretty though. I don't believe that is sterling silver, just uh, by the way it looks. Let's give this a size. And the size on this is, this is a size six. I've got to try this one on. For a six though, it can only fit on my pinky because my fingers are on the larger side. But I love the way that looks on. This is a very pretty one. And to match that ring we just saw, these earrings. And look, they're doubled up with these little moon earrings. How pretty. Now these may be real turquoise, I'm not sure. Um, they are also flanked with these crystals in the same color and a little tiny disc silver bead. I'm going to take the magnet to see if they're sterling and they're not. But I really like these a lot. Now, Terra Amanda is the name on the card. I'm not familiar with it, but I sure do like this pair of earrings. This is quite the pretty necklace, and this pendant is so adorable. This is like a faux turquoise or reconstituted, and this elephant is so cute. And in this necklace, I think it's artisan made, it's combined with hematite and the turquoise colored beads. These are small cylinder beads, go all the way up. It's got this barrel clasp. This is just so adorable. And I have one viewer in particular who's crazy about elephants. Mary, are you watching this? <laughs> this is so cute. Here is an anklet. This is a Balinese style, kind of a belly dancer anklet. It is made to jingle, and you can hear that. So this is cute. This is very cute. It's an anklet, or if you have really large wrists, I guess you could wear it as a bracelet. Here's a necklace with faux turquoise. I think this is a reconstituted stone. So we have a faux turquoise pendant, as well as two accent beads going up the silver tone chain. I like the chain a lot. That's pretty. And this one has a toggle clasp. Here's a closer look at that pendant. I love that color a lot. Here's the back of the pendant, and it is set in this little silver frame here. And here's a closer look at the accent beads. This is a neat piece too. I love, love, love this color. If you like turquoise as much as I do, you will probably love this necklace. This is a vintage necklace made with heishi beads, or do you say heishi? I say heishi. Not sure if I'm saying it right. This has a barrel clasp, and the heishi beads are in white and turquoise. There are these very pretty silver floral beads and this pendant. Look at this beautiful pendant. This stone always eludes me. I know what it is and I always forget what it is, but it has um, inlay with turquoise and this green, oh darn, I can't think of the name of this. And this is layered there's another stone on this side, so isn't this gorgeous? It has that Native American influence, and I'm really liking this a lot. Check out this beauty. This is awesome. It looks like it belongs in a museum. We have a peacock and all these little birds down here. There is a blue glass stone there in the center. And these dangles, I feel like I should know what they are, but I don't. This looks like a very tribal figure here. And I don't know what to make of these. Hats or pans or some sort of dish or I don't know what that is. But take a look at the back of this one too. Here's what the back looks like. It's got this old stick pin type of contraption right here. I don't know even for sure if it's a pin like you would wear, or if it's meant to be something else. If you could shed, shed some light on this for me, I'd certainly appreciate it. This is fabulous. Here are all the details up close. Let's see if I can get this focused. Look at this. Isn't this neat? I really like this. Let's look at these brooches. 
These are gorgeous. Let's look at this one first. This one's very pretty. It's got a red and white enameling. It has some gold tone trim on it. And there are his uh, cards. JJ. So this is a JJ because I'm sure he has it marked as such. And let's take a look. It sure is. It is marked JJ. And this is so pretty. Very nautical. Here's the next brooch. This is so awesome. This is a pewter tone and gold tone. And there's is there a name for this design? I can't think of it. Um, I'm not sure. So help me out if you guys know. And on this, he has a Premier Designs label on that. So organized. Anyway, this is lovely too. This is so unique. I love this one. Next is this brand new bracelet, memory wire bracelet, still new with tags. The retail price on there says $38. And I think I recognize this tag. This is a cake, C period, A period, K period, E period. And this is uh, from the manufacturer Ali Khan, which is what that tag says. You may not be able to see that. The crystals are so pretty. They have a really cool iridescence. There is like a peach and an orangey yellow and this gray color. These are so pretty. Um, I always did well. I've sold cake before in my eBay store and I haven't had one. I haven't come across this in a while. I'm really happy this was included in the group. This is lovely. This is my first time seeing damascene earrings. I have had damascene brooches, but never earrings. These are very pretty. These are dangles. Let me show you up close. I love the detail in damascene. It's just lovely. So these are clip-ons and they have this round button with this hoop dangle. These are so unique. What we're looking at here came all in one bag packaged by Doug. We have this longer faceted beaded necklace, the shorter one that has graduated beads. Both of them are plastic faceted black beads. Let me show you this one first. So this is a vintage piece here, and it does have a spring clasp. This is quite pretty. And then this is also made uh, with the same type of bead, but these are graduated. And these have tiny little seed beads in between each bead. Again, this one has a spring clasp right there. And then uh, he included a matching brooch. Isn't this pretty? So this is a matching brooch. I don't want to take it off the card. Well, I should. Let me just take a look to see if there's a maker on this. There's not a maker on this one, but you can tell that it is a vintage piece. Oh, wait a minute. I think I do see something. What I am seeing right there stamped on there is Japan. This is a lovely brooch to go with the two necklaces. This sure is a showstopper. This is a lovely four strand necklace with ivory color potato pearls and they do have some iridescence to them and I believe this is Larimar and in between each bead of the Larimar are these black faceted crystals. I have to give you a close-up of this. This is so beautiful. Here is where the Larimar is in the center of the necklace in the front and then here are the potato pearls and this is a very pretty, this has a hook clasp. I'm just going to test this hook clasp to see this is possibly sterling silver. With a piece like this, and I do think this is an artisan piece, I'm thinking that's probably sterling. This is the way the clasp hooks on. There we go. I made piles of I made piles of jewelry on my table and I happened to look over where the earrings were and I thought, wow, that's kind of a nice match with this necklace. So these are clip-on earrings. They do have a little bit of wear in there. You can see if you look really closely, but um, they are screw backs and you could touch that up or just leave it alone. These earrings are great. These are vintage earrings. I'm guessing from the late 80s, early 90s. These large copper leaf shape uh, earrings that have these cool chains and plastic dangle charms, some faux pearls in blues and pinks and ivories, as well as some green. They almost feel wooden, but no, I think they're plastic too. 
there's more of a close-up view right there. I'll move the camera up and down. And I think I mentioned that they are clip-ons. There was not a name imprinted on the back or anything, but they are just awesome. They are so unique and they're a lot of fun. Such a variety in this box. It's truly a mystery box of jewelry. Here is a vintage piece. This is a white enamel rose brooch with a gold tone leaves. This is an excellent shape. The metal on this has no wear whatsoever. And on the other side, he has got this marked Cerrito. So this is a vintage pin by Cerrito. I am going to take it off just to take a look at what the Cerrito jewelry stamp looks like. There it is right there on the back of the brooch, Cerrito. It also has one, a smaller one right there. That also says Cerrito, but this one is easier to read. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Tip me over and pour me out. <laughs> How cute is this? This is a little lapel pin. I love it. It's gold tone. It's in beautiful shape. And it has this gorgeous little AB crystal that's, I guess, representing the T when you pour the T. Isn't this cute? There is the stick pin or the lapel pin back. And there is something printed inside. I had to take the back off in order to see it. But now we can see that this says Avon. I've been hearing a lot lately that Avon Jewelry is making a comeback, so this would be a great thing to list in my eBay store. Look at the iridescent sheen on this Mother of Pearl cuff bracelet. Look how it's made. It's, it's wider on this side, thinner on that side, and it kind of has like a curve to it. It is gorgeous. This is absolutely stunning. I've never quite seen anything like it. Now let me see if I can fit that on my wrist. I don't want to force it. It's a little bit small, the opening right here. So you have to have a very small wrist to be able to get this on. This is stunning. Here's a beautiful pair of vintage earrings. They are carved bone and they are in excellent condition. They are very delicate and yet look what wonderful condition these are in. Now these are, they're clip-ons, but they're, they're actually screw back earrings. These do not have a mark on them, but they are certainly vintage and they're beautiful. I love the colors of these glass pearls in this necklace. This necklace is very well made. It feels substantial and there is a lobster clasp closure and I am seeing a jewelry tag. But first, let's take a closer look at those beads. The colors are so beautiful. And there is the end of the necklace and we're gonna zero in on that jewelry tag. Hopefully right here on the tag you can see it says LUC925. And I have had this tag before. So I know that this is a Lucas Lameth piece. The last Lucas Lameth piece I had was a coral necklace and it sold pretty quickly, I believe, for a nice amount of money. So I will definitely look into what this piece could sell for, but it's very beautiful. I love this necklace. This is a very long double strand necklace. It looks like hematite, but it's not. It's just a gunmetal tone, uh, cubed or rectangular shaped beads all linked together. And it's very attractive. This has tags on it. In fact, this one just fell off. Um, this just says $26. It didn't have a maker on it at all, but this is a new piece. It does have this lobster clasp on it and a large extender, a very long extender, I should say. And then there's another little tag on here, but no marks on the tag. When you hold this necklace, it has a slinky feel to it. I can't explain it. Uh, you wouldn't think so with the links, but it really does have a slinky feel. This is a beautiful butterfly carved pendant. It's in hematite, and this is similar as far as the neck part. It has those little mini cylindrical beads. This one is combined with pink cat eye beads and silver spacer beads. How cute is that pendant? Here is a look at the neck part, the cylinder beads, and this one too has a barrel clasp closure. Next is this very pretty floral ring. It's silver tone, it's an antique silver tone, and you can see that the petals have these clear rhinestone crystals all over them. The center of the flower has a round faceted crystal stone, and 
Here is a look at the band and the underside of the ring. I will go ahead and size this. The ring is a size eight. It's a very pretty costume ring. It's in great shape, just a slight amount of wear at the bottom on the edge, the part where no one sees. Really nice, I like this one too. Thank you, Doug, for sending me such an awesome mystery box of jewelry. I had so much fun opening it. Don't forget to visit Doug on his YouTube channel at Vintage Boutique Cali. I will link it down below. He also has an Etsy store by the same name. Thanks so much for coming in, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.